Hey guys, what's up? DLive here, and I am here with a game called Fort Meow. Now this game has been in my Steam inventory for over two years. I don't know why I haven't played it. There's a, I would say there's at least 20 to 25 games, at least, at the very least, in my Steam library that I bought to play games of and never have done. So I was looking for a game to play, couldn't find anything, so I saw this and I was like, why did I play this game? It looks adorable, it looks cute, it has cats. If you guys would like to see any more, I'm not sure how long this game is, but let me know down below if you've enjoyed this. So let's go ahead and hit new game. There's a little cutscene. ooh. I like a good story. Dropped off in haste by her mother. Oh. Nia stared up at the gigantic house looming in front of her. Her mother just dropped she her off. She spent care. her vacations here with her grandparents. Ah, okay. So her grandparents are here. Into the darkness. They didn't even it welcome kind me? It was strange that the front door was already open and there didn't seem to be anyone home. Ooh. I like her the cat clock. Had told her not to expect granddad to be around. Okay. He was due to go into hospital for surgery the day before she arrived. Perhaps that was why no one was around. But Two ooh, kitty, I heard a kitty. Later, Nia had arrived at the final steps up to the attic. During her holidays, she liked to spend most of her time exploring here. Mm. She found some solitude in the attic. And oh, ducky. <laughs> spending her time rummaging around in the mountains of family relics. Okay. She found something new on every visit. Ooh. This time, however, the poor Teddy. Something caught her eye almost uh. immediately. The ball? It had oh. her grandfather's name. Ooh. Scribbled on Ooh. The front cover. That's weird. If there ever was a contest for finding the most interesting item in the attic, she'd just won. <laughs> and so she yeah. Sat down and began to read. Ooh, what's this book about? Is it like a, a diary, a journal? So, before we jump into this game, whoa, the kitty! How are you annoyed? I'd be so happy. This is like, where did that cat come from? Oh, there's more. This cat only <laughs> a chair. Ah, oh. so that's that's what brings about Fort Meow, I guess. <laughs> I just want to say. Before we get started, her parent, her mom dropped her off knowing her grandparents might not be there to greet her. They're just like, whatever, just go in the house. I need to go do something. Irresponsible mother. But these kitties just want to cuddle. I would be okay. I wouldn't read a book. I, I would just cuddle the kitties. I'd be playing a game. I'd play video games and the cats would be all over me and I'd be fine. I'd just like, they're all over my arms and stuff. Okay, so basis of the game, it looks like we have to keep the cats away from her while she reads the book. All right, so left click and drag objects to build your fort. So we get to protect Nia. Use your mouse wheel or the up and down keys to rotate a held object. Okay. And right click to return currently held objects. So very easy. I can see some I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. Ah, so we have one kitty over here and one kitty over there. I like the attic though. It's pretty cool. So she just wants to read the book. The kitties want attention. She's like, "No, kitties." Not now. So our our grandparents have two kitties. Uh so I guess we can can we put the can we put the chair on her head? <laughs> can the brooms like can I angle the brooms to protect me? There we go. We're wearing a chair for a hat. Don't ask why. It's the perfect ruse. <laughs> All right, so, oh, time 40 out of 70? Is that how much time we have to build or? Oh, spend this much time building your fort. Oh, time costs. Ah, so these things have little things. Uh, that costs 20 and has two hit points. The brooms have one hit point and five time cost. Um, the chair has 20 time cost and two hit points. And the pillow has only 10 time cost and two hit points. So let's put a pillow. Let's do a stack. Stack the pillows. <laughs> and can we put a chair on top of us or do we have? We have enough for a chair. Look at our hat. This girl has got a strong head. All right, start the cat wave. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work out. Oh! Oh! We didn't lose anything. 
Yeah, that's right, victory. Oh, a new cat type, ooh. What's a new cat type? There seems to be hundreds of these guys. They seem quite relentless, but don't do much damage to my fort. I think I'll be able to read in peace with relative ease. So this is one of the kitties. Apparently there's a bunch of kitties. All right, so that, I can see more cats getting ready to pounce. Oh no! But wasn't there something in our little book? Is there something in our book we can read? Oh, okay, here we go. All right, so chapter one. University of New Langdon, uh, Professor Ronald Birch. Weird, because my name is Donald, so it's weird. I don't know, that's just weird to me. I guess I have to have an old voice for this. All right. Back in my heyday, I worked as a scientist at the University of New Langdon. We ran a busy laboratory in the basement of one of those old boarding house buildings on the campus. By we, I mean myself and my, my good friend Tom. I first met Tom when I started working as a junior scientist at the university. <laughs> He and I eventually convinced the director to let us run our own operation. Some say it wasn't the best decision the director made, but we only had a few minor incidents, mostly involving fire. <laughs> a fair amount of our work involved the dissection and study of animals. Ugh. My official field of research was based in kinesiology, but that didn't stop us, however, but please laugh for some of our off-the-record experiments. All right. Dissection, animal dissection, you thing I hated about school. We had to dissect a frog, and I had to do it in college again. And it was just gross. I was like the person who did everything but dissect. I was like, just let me do something else. Let me be, let me read stuff and let you know what they are. I wouldn't want to do the touchy. There were some people that were very willing to do it, which was kind of creepy. All right, I'm honored to write to you today that to acknowledge your 25 years service achievement Okay, the university also wishes you best with your retirement next semester. So your grandfather um, retired uh, after 25 years, and everybody liked him. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we know kind of a little lore to this. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. All right, Nia. You see this? We have more, but we can't even... Can we not... Do we not have enough? I think we're good. Like, the chair, pillow, hat brooms are working great so let's go ahead and defend here we go go kitties oh oh no oh they go to sleep i love it victory we don't even have to do anything plus 10 minutes so we got more minutes the kitties just fall asleep so they're not getting hurt they just fall asleep i can see some more cats getting ready to pounce all right so no more story haven't seen any different cats it looks like right no new cats yet all right Nope, no new cats, okay. I like this. They they are getting a little um, crooked here. Our hat is taking some damage, but we shall build this even more. There's a mattress on our head now. We have a tower. We're, we're, we're barely protecting our sides. Let's see if this works, defend. All right. No, oh, there's so many kitties. Oh, they took out one. Oh my goodness. They're, oh, we did it barely. Okay, we were getting, not barely, but we were getting close. New chapter, all right. So we got a new chapter. New Langdon Hospital. Do you, Mr. Burgess, you visit today, yesterday, I have contacted specialists further look into your symptoms observed by myself and Dr. Bostel upon our initial examination. Uh, as per your reported family history, we need to take episodes or take episodes like this with extreme caution. Oh no, a grandfather is in trouble. I have made an appointment with your close friend. He's very best. He's very best in his field and has treated patients with similar symptoms as yourself. All right, all right. Here we go. I've always hated visiting doctors. I know they're supposed to help. There to help, but I always feel like I could diagnose my own symptoms and treat accordingly. Today was different. I have no idea what hit me or when there was just this weird tingling sensation and then I blacked out. All I can remember is waking up in the hospital bed with Martha, our grandmother probably, sitting in a chair next to me looking very worried. The following few days were pretty terrible. I think I managed to squeeze in more doctor's appointments than I've had in the past 20 years until a single week. 
I think my accent's changing. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting more older just sitting here doing it. I'm all booked to see a specialist to see if they can figure out what's wrong with me. I figured it's just going to be about the same as my dad. He runs in the family. I should be worrying about my health, but all I can think about is what would happen if I would leave Martha suddenly without getting to say goodbye. It pains me to say this, but she wouldn't cope by herself. Fortunately, her age is caught up with her, and she needs a lot of help doing even simple tasks around the house. On the day I came home from the hospital, I found this flower on my pillow. It's the same type of flower that we had at our wedding. It really struck home uh, how much she cares. Oh! Don't die, Grandpa. Grandma needs you, okay? All right, I'm, I'm gonna need more, some stuff. Some more stuff. But I'll never be able to lift anything up these stairs. Ooh, paper on the ground. Move it, bot. Battery charge, load limit. Okay. Aha! So we're bringing up stuff. We figured out how to bring stuff up. Explore plan. Click on the doors to move to different rooms. Hold left mouse to pan up and down. Move cursor to edge of the screen. Click objects to inspect them. All right, so we can grab things that we want. Time to find some things for my fort. Maybe one of the rooms below will have something I can use. All right, so can we just go into any door? Maybe I can find a spare light bulb somewhere. Okay, so we need a spare light bulb. Any cat within the lamp light has their damage reduced by 0.5. That's pretty interesting. Protect against the fatter cats. Uh-oh. There's some fat cats. Uh, Coffee table. Tough to destroy yet. Great at holding drinks. I like this one. It costs 100% though. All right. So we're probably... All these take so much to pick up, don't they? I like the fat cats. One hit point. But this is so big, right? And this lowers. I think, oh, uh, I don't know. Should we do, I don't know what we should do. Let's do this. We're gonna pick that item. So we only have 100% battery power and that all took 100%. This should be enough for now. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we should be able to protect ourselves in the fat. Oh, is that the fat cats with the melons? <laughs> There's cats wearing melons, okay? I can see more cats getting ready to pounce. All right, so let's destroy all the stuff. Okay, so. Again, we're gonna make a hat. We're gonna protect ourselves. The brooms will be here. They're gonna slant. We're gonna make them a little bit more protective. If we can get them a little bit more slanted. I guess we have to go up a little bit. Just like that. Perfect. So we have some bean bags, we have 50 more. Uh, I think what we could do is this is our first line of defense from the fat cats. I feel like fat cats can be bad. So we only have that little bit left. Um, let's put some pillows just on the top because it seems like we need the pillows just to protect us. We don't have any more left. So should we get rid of that and use this on top? Let's go like that. I know it looks odd. But let's see if we can kind of do that. We'll see how that works. This should protect us from the fat cat, hopefully. All right, defend. All right, let's see, oh! That was perfectly placed, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh no! Oh, they got us! <laughs> no, we got invaded. He got on our lap. Oh, he's purring. All right, I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. So what we need to do is it looked like it attacked us from here. So what we're gonna do is, oh sh crap. That might work, let's do that. That fat cat comes in, man, and he just hits that. All right, so far so good. Oh no, it made it again! Oh, so what we're gonna need to do is place kind of that, get this pillow, get rid of the brooms, I think. I think what we're gonna do, oh, I don't know how, the fat cat's gonna destroy this one. The brooms are gonna take one hit no matter what. What if I did this, right? 
and place the pillows. Place a pillow, emergency pillow on her head. Just like that. Place another pillow in there. And hopefully, oh, this broom though is gonna go down when the fat cat comes in, right? Oh, this is interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to get another broom here. Can we do that? Okay, let's see if that works. I don't think that's gonna work, but let's try it. Oh my, oh God. <laughs> that fat cat. He is so strong. Aha. This could work. Okay, this could work. We need to protect against the fat cat. We can't like place this up on something. I don't know the angle. Let's try. Can I, I wish I could pick it up. Oh, it worked. Okay. All right. Not bad, it's working! Yeah, we did it! Woo -hoo -hoo. New cat type, all right. So we get to see our battery power's going up. Now I know why grandma's watermelons are missing from her garden. Sky loves pouncing low and fast, good old melon head. All right, nice. So we have another, do we have another book? Or stamps, we have a new stamp, anchor. And we have penguin party. All right, so we have new stamps. I like this game so far. Oh, we got doorbell. I swear I heard the doorbell. I did too. Oh, someone left, a um, gnome left us a package. Oh, a package, who could that be from? I think the move it bot could easily handle something that small without much battery charge. Besides, it'll save me walking down those hundreds of steps back again. All right, how much is gonna kill my battery? What do I get? Do I get a free present? I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. The package has a name written on the front. I wonder what's inside. It's your package. What did we get? Inflatable pillow. Turns into a free inflatable pillow to use on your fort. Click the in inflated pillow to inflate with air. Aha! So we got a free pillow. So we got a free pillow for this one alone. So we got a free pillow, nice. All right, so we don't have any fat cats, which is fine. So we're gonna sit this pillow, this up on our head. This is gonna be a little bit of a protection right there. We need to protect Nia. What I think we're gonna do is another pillow up here and some brooms on the side. Oh, we still have money too, look at that. Uh, and a chair, we're gonna have a chair on top. She can balance, look, it's it's quivering, but she can balance so much on her head. Nia is a pro. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, oh God, they're, they're hitting. Oh, no! <gasps> Man, they just keep wobbling it. Okay, so we're gonna need some more support here. I don't think these chairs are gonna, can we, can we anchor them in? No, 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 I want you to lean. Yes, okay, so let's see if that works. We lean them now. Okay, there's one. They're they're taking it. We got a stamp. Oh! Yes! That worked perfectly. Nice. We got a new chapter. 10 more minutes. Let's read this new chapter. Okay. Oh, so this guy is like a planning of the house. All right. During the time I spent in the bed recovering, I began to think of a way I could help Martha if the worst which just suddenly happened and I disappeared from her life. As soon as I got home, I started to monitor her daily routine. I wrote down the room she used the most during the day where she spent most of her time and the tasks that gave her the most difficulty. From the data I collected, I created a map of the house and decided to focus my efforts on the rooms and tasks that, in my opinion, needed to be addressed. Then it hit me. Why didn't I just build a machine that helped her with everything? I had the years of experience and knowledge. All I needed was the materials, tools, and a load of testing. I gave this locket to Martha a few years ago. She lost the key and gave it back to me to open, which I still have to figure it out. All right, so he created the machine that we have uh, helping us to carry stuff. That's gonna let, help her do everything. We got a new stamp, the President of the United States. We still don't have any more new cats. Probably do one more level here. Oh, we got a new package? We got a water gun! Sprays pouncing cats with water. Wet cats do less damage to use aim at the defending stage. Oh, so we get 
to, uh, I don't know how the heck we get to squirt them with water. All right, so we'll see how that goes. We do need these brooms, because I feel like the fat cats are gonna take a weird angle this time. So what we're gonna do is hopefully the fat cats hit that, and these brooms can angle. Oh, crap. Probably gonna have to take that away, because we're gonna need this. We're definitely gonna have to use the water gun, but I have no idea how to use that. We still have 10 left. Let's take a pillow away and use a chair. Chairs can take some damage. All right, here we go. Defend. All right, so I get to shoot him. Oh my God, they're so fast. Okay, I squirted him. Ah, squirted him. Ah, I ran out. Okay, we did it though. Yeah. We barely did it, we had an opening here. Nice, all right, victory. We got battery power of 135%, so we should be able to explore. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. My battery seems to have enough charge to power up the mover bot. I think I saw a few items downstairs I could build my fort with. We also got another water gun. Um, we have five cats on each side. Let's explore, find some new items. I'm finding these stamps everywhere. I guess the cat's got into Grandpa's stamp collection. Hopefully I can get them all back for him. All right, so we need a light bulb. I don't know how you get a light bulb to get into other rooms. If I can find a spare light bulb, I'm assuming... We're gonna have to go down here. All right, so... TV gains 5% battery charge. Gain 5% battery charge when destroyed. Ooh, I like that. I think we should do this one. Pick up this item. Pick it up. Pick it up. I don't know how you, how do we pick that up again? Just like that? Oh, there. All right, so we're gonna pick up the TV. This should be enough for now. Let's see how it goes. We still need the light bulb, but the TV could help us a lot with battery charge. Don't think we're gonna need that. Oh, we can only get one TV? That is not good. All right, so we have any fat cats? No fat cats, so we don't have to worry about that. So I think what we're gonna do is use these brooms to keep this from wobbling, kind of as like a supporter. So that'll keep that going there. We still have a lot. We don't wanna stack this up too much, but the pillow should be able to take a nice good hit and let's put a chair on top of the TV. We still have we still have some things. We still have some time, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Defend. All right, so it's a lot of the kitties. Oh, water gun. Ah, they're so fast. Oh, we did it just in time. Our left was cleared. So it looks like on top of her head, we're fine. We need to build some more on the sides. We're getting really lucky, I guess. All right, so let's read our new chapter. We'll finish the video there. If you guys wanna see any more, make sure you leave a like down below, and I'll do some more. Um, okay, so we got a little camouflaged. Camufl All right, so this is it looks like some of his experiments and stuff. Let's go ahead and read this. I managed to, or I managed to win a few awards during my days as a scientist. A lot of my inventions were created to help with menial days to day-to-day cha -to -day challenges. What I need to do is use my skills to help Martha in her daily challenges. Uh, and my initial thoughts were to build uh, an automated systems that connected each room to floorboards and walls. That, however, would involve ripping up and renovating the house, something that my current house probably couldn't handle at the moment. All right, so he has a bunch of stuff. Um, it looks like his old lab at the university. Camouflage, the mayor of New England, announced yesterday during his press conference that the authorities have yet to determine what caused the prize-winning cow, Tessa, to go missing from her field last night. To be honest, I am stumped as them, said owner Farmer Burt. Tessa was a nice cow. She always minded her own business and never shat where she shan't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, police are seeking the two men in white coats that were seen in something. Oh, do we steal cows? Grandpa stole some cows, I think. 
Um, Ronald Burge has been hidden away in his room laboratory on most weekends. The local scientists have been hard at work putting together his latest invention, an automated ironing machine. I've always hated having to iron my pants in the mornings. He said, now I don't have to worry about it. I just throw the, all my laundry that needs ironing into the machine and is ready and free of creases when I get dressed. Besides inventing, Mr. Burge enjoys working at the University of New Langdon as head of the science program to help hundreds of budding scientists solve challenges and mysteries every day. My automatic iron machine was a big hit around the town and earned me a few dollars after I sold the copies of the plans. My alibi for when we nicked the cow? Oh, he did. He had a ticket. We nearly got caught doing this. Why did you just steal a cow? Poor Tessa. What happened to Tessa? All right. So that was chapter four. See more cats getting ready. So it's more fat cats and other cats. Um, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a break there though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really I am miffed at myself for not doing this earlier and I even looked it up on YouTube No one played this game. There's some people that played it But like the normal people who play these games never even touched this so it's kind of crazy This game definitely deserves some coverage. It's a lot of fun reminds me of Angry Birds, but you're kind of protecting the uh, What you're what they're trying to destroy so the Angry Birds are the cats and you're basically, it's kind of flipped, I guess. But it's cool, I like it. I wanna do some more. If not, videos and maybe stream it, cause it's really cute, it's really cool, and uh, I need to stop building things on top of her head, cause <laughs> the things on the side seem to be a little bit better. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you did, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!